and I am so glad you're here. Like genuinely, it's my birthday today and I'm so excited that I get to be spending it with you. It's, <laughs> my daughter watched my last video and she was like, it's like you just record yourself chatting with your Yarny friends. And I think that is a perfect description. I love it. I love my Yarny friends and I love that we get to all be here together. So I will update you on that. I'll do that first, actually. <laughs> so look, look what I have. I found some on eBay. I cannot tell you how much I appreciate all of your suggestions. And I just had no idea there were so many places out there that um, have people who would possibly have yarn. I mean, I had thought of like Ravelry and um, I hadn't really thought about Facebook groups. So I really appreciate all the suggestions, all the recommendations. I did get two more, so I should be just right in being able to finish this. And oh, it came with two little extras. Can you see these little cheapy stitch markers? Turn the right way, flip over. That's so cute. Oh, I love that. Um, I stopped working on it because I wasn't sure what I was gonna do. And to be honest, even after I found the yarn, I was, <laughs> wasn't sure if I was gonna get it. And so uh, I kind of stopped. So um, now I will keep going and finish this up. And I have been requested to post this pattern now. So I will do that in here. And I will also go back and post it on uh, last week's video. So that way, uh, people who are looking at that one are able to see it. But this is um, for the frills.com. I will, I will link the exact pattern that I used. But I just wanted to like say that it's for the frills because there's a ton of other things there's a ton of other sweaters and stuff on there once i complete this i will let you know if i make any adjustments to the pattern that i end up doing for me but that was my first thing my first update i do have more yarn so i can actually finish this pattern so i'm super excited about that and then I went to working on my leaves blanket, which I know that I had linked and I will link again. And okay, here's the thing though, like I love it, I really do. And then we were going through another heat wave. It finally broke yesterday. I think yesterday it finally broke. And, um, and also I get kind of bored of just doing the same stitch over and over, which it, it's not bad and it like goes pretty fast and everything, but I am only about uh, not even halfway through because it says that it takes two skeins of the colors and I just tied on my next yellow. But I also had cut that off because I had started with a smaller hook and realized that I didn't really like it. So I will um, show this once it's all completed. I mean, you guys are basically seeing it, but I will get this completed. I will show you. I will also link this one down below. I know I linked this one as well. This is a paid pattern. Um, just to learn how to do the maple leaf type of stitch. So there was the second thing. And as I was showing Maddie my really cool leaf blanket, thinking that I'm gonna get my hike back from her like I usually do, she's like, oh, do you know what you need to do? One for Halloween and one for Christmas. For Halloween, it needs to have bats and ghosts and Christmas cupcakes. So we changed the Christmas one a little bit. It's no longer cupcakes. 
I don't know that I would ever crochet cupcakes. I can't even imagine how much would go into that, to be honest. But I did find a really cute one for Halloween, which I had, um, I think I, I pinned it on Pinterest. I think that's where I had originally seen it. I don't believe that I had found it in YouTube or something. And so I had thought about making this one already, but I never did. And so since she did that, I went and made sure that I had yarn and I got a couple that I was missing. All I'm using is the big twist because that's something that's like easily found, readily available. If not, uh, it really does call for like a DK weight, but you certainly can do a worsted weight. And so that's what I'm doing. Cause like I said, I figured that would be easy. So I just started it. And what it is, is it's, it's like, um, what do they call those? A sampler, a sampler blanket. And so it starts with like these stripes and bobbles, and then it goes into uh, squares. And it's like, you do a row of like jack-o'-lanterns and then you do more like sampler stitches and then it's like a row of ghosts in like a square and then more sampler stitches and then um bats so i will link this it is made by anita and this was bad this was so bad so i found her crochet along on um on youtube and it's like multiple videos and so i was like oh i'm sure she has like a paid pattern let me go look and see so that i can you know i'll just buy the pattern and then i went to her site i don't know if i'm the last to know about her or if others don't know about her but if you are wanting some blankets you need to go to her site and then I was all set to buy this and, a, and she's in the UK, so it's like in pounds, right? And I was all set to buy this and I found the perfect Christmas one. Now, this one is called Halloween Dreams and then the Christmas one is Christmas Eve Wishes. And I'm going to be doing that next and I think I'm actually gonna order some yarn. Um, I really like some yarn that I found on the We Crochet site mighty stitch i believe it is i haven't purchased it yet some of the colors that i were wanting are out of stock they should be coming in like this weekend so i'm going to double check um also if you guys have recommendations of yarn please tell me i am always up for trying a new yarn but i went to purchase it i was going to purchase that pattern as well but it was only in uk terms which it's fine. I could, you know, drop it down. I know like our treble and double and then the single is a, so all those, so, like I understand like the variance and stuff like that, but I just thought it would be easier if I had a US one and she has an Etsy site. So I just went to her Etsy store and I bought the Halloween dreams pattern, the Christmas Eve wishes, and then I bought one other, I bought one other one. And honestly, there are like a multitude of ones that I probably will end up purchasing as well. So like I said, I will link her page. Um, I will also link her Etsy store. And then, but just so you know, both of these patterns, she does a crochet along here on YouTube. So you don't have to purchase the patterns by any means. You can go watch her and crochet along in her videos, which I think is great. This was just me trying to make it, trying to get as much information as I possibly could, but I will make sure that I, oh, I will link her those two. Nope. I will link her YouTube page because I was going to say I'll link those two videos except for they're in multiple videos and that would just be a whole lot of linking. And so I will link her YouTube page and you can just go and look and I'm sure she has a ton of things. Honestly, I didn't dive too much into her YouTube page because I was too obsessed with her site and buying a bunch of patterns. 
so that's where I am. Oh, but the biggest thing that I wanted to tell you about, I was almost all ready to end, and this was the whole thing that I was so excited to share with you last week. I had found a pattern and I guess I purchased it last year because it was on my phone. I probably have a problem, but <laughs> tell me this isn't the cutest thing. Ah, no, I have to tell you again, this is bigger than what the pattern called for. And, um, it's, it's pumpkin house and it's a uh, batterina Tatiana. If I'm saying that wrong, I'm so sorry. Um, but also her, her page is something different. And so I will get that and link that for you. But I think that I must have purchased this off of Etsy because I, even when I was clicking on the one that I had on my phone and it says, uh, external web page or something like that. But when you purchase it, you have it all. And so when I like Googled this, it, her Etsy page popped up. So I'm guessing that I had actually purchased this from an Etsy page and I will absolutely link that. And I have to tell you, this went so quick, so quick. She uses a smaller size yarn and a smaller hook. I did, um, the, I love this cotton yarn, which is technically a four weight, but it's kind of a thinner four weight in my opinion. And I used a size four hook and like it, she does it in steps where you make the window and you put it on, you make the door and you put it on like stuff like that. But you easily could just make all of your pieces all at one time and then go and put them all on. But just one recommendation, when I was stuffing my pumpkin, it, um, it was all like super lumpy and it looked all oddly shaped and everything. And so I took out a bunch of stuffing and I kind of liked it better, but I just felt like it needed to be more sturdy. And so I'll show you my, my little stem right here. Um, it's not completely closed. Like it wasn't completely closed when I, and so I took little, little tiny pieces of stuffing with that little stick that comes in the stuffing that they give you to help stuff with. And I just like kept shoving stuffing in and it's still not like hugely hardly packed, densely packed. Um, but I do recommend continuing to stuff and I guess maybe I just need to stuff it with that thing and I think it kind of broke it up a little bit but look the hat fits over the little chimney <laughs> and then these little witch's legs now she also um hung a little spider from the hat, which would be really cute. And if I can find the right kind of charm, I probably will do that as well. But um, I couldn't find anything that I liked yet. And so I didn't, but tell me this isn't just like one of the cutest. And just so you know, when I did Google um, pumpkin house, <laughs> a bunch came up. So there's like one that looks more like a gourd, which I know that, you know, but like a little gourd shape. But this worked up so fast. And if I recall, because I was just trying to find um, so that I could link it, this was not an expensive pattern, like four-ish dollars. So, but really, really cute. And I, I am obsessed. I love it. I think it's absolutely adorable. So that, that was the thing that I was the most excited about for today. And I almost just like pretty sure I passed it, but yeah, so that's where I am. I am working on the Halloween blanket and then I need to finish the sweater and I will be <laughs> working on my fall blanket. Um, maybe my next video needs to be how many is too many? How many whips is too many whips? But 
but I'm working on them all. Like I'm actually, it's not like they're just sitting. I have them all. So I hope that you guys like this. Please let me know if you like when I find something, complete the project, then share it with you. And then I like link the pattern or something like that. Or if you would rather me just do a whole video of all of the projects that I am finding that I'm interested in doing, and I will just do kind of like a whole collab video, like I know a lot of other YouTubers do. Um, and then I, you guys can just take your pick of which ones you would like to do. So let me know which way you like better, what it is that you would like. And again, I am so glad that you guys are here with me and I hope you have an absolutely amazing day. Bye.